Good morning. Peace, blessings, and much love. Oh, I'm grateful for waking up this morning. Story time. I got a few minutes. Ew, I came to see the 8.54. Got about 10 minutes before I go to work. But I was going through my paperwork last night because I got to try to get my daughter a passport so she can go to uh, Cancun, Mexico with her brother. Yes. So I came across my... Um, my uh, divorce petition. And yeah, I know I started laughing, right? Because I had tried to file for divorce. No, I did file for divorce in um, January of 2015. We're about to be in January 2017. So that's almost two years ago. And I'm laughing because I was told that my marriage was fake. <laughs> I was told my marriage was fake. And then I sent fake people to serve my husband. Only a naive person will believe the lies of a man who's cheating. But anyway, I came across the card because we couldn't get him through a server, which I never got my $200 back since this was a fake-ass marriage. I wish I can get my $319.28 that it cost to even file the damn paperwork. Then I wish I can get my $150 back that it cost to have the, the papers drawn up. That's a total of almost $800 down the damn train that I cannot get back. So anyway, let me tell you how smart my husband is. He didn't even put a date on the... um. Cause it was mailed. He, he received the divorce petition through certified mail, right? He he had to sign to get the packet, but he put no date on it. And maybe he knew if he put no date on it, the judge wouldn't accept that he actually received it because they, we don't know when he received the package because there's no date on it. And I I I I just have to laugh because I was told that my marriage was fake. And then not realizing that your baby daddy don't even want to divorce his wife. And, you know, instead of trying to attract, attack the wife and say that the wife is lying and this and that, why not sit down and ask yourself, why the hell you lay down with this man in the first man, in the first place? Why are you not asking yourself, why is this man lying to me about his marriage? And now that's like 800 I had to pay. Three nine three hundred nineteen dollars to file the paperwork. Two hundred dollars to have him served by hand, which was not successful. I had to pay additional twenty dollars to have the documents mailed to me. I had to pay a hundred, I think a hundred and forty nine dollars for the company to draw up the paperwork. So it's almost eight hundred dollars that I could have spent on my daughter trying to get a divorce from a man who does not want to divorce me. And I was angry about it because I said you did all this dirt and you talked about me and you, and you let this woman disrespect me. But you don't want to divorce me. Is it because he know he messed up? Is it because I'm actually am a good woman and he know he messed up? Is it because he don't want me to marry someone else? Is it he being selfish? Is it because... He hoping that one day down the line we can reconcile. Why a man doesn't want to divorce his wife after he committed adultery? But I'm, I, I, I was hurt by the whole incident. But I'm, you see, I'm smiling because I feel special. I feel special because one, he won't sign it. Too, I feel special because the female he chose to lay down with doesn't have a brain. And the reason why I say those things about her because she 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 just ain't wrapped too tight. She wasn't one of the women that said, "Okay, I'm wrong for sleeping with this married man." I'm wrong for disrespecting myself. I'm wrong for even having his baby. 
I'm wrong for believing that he actually cared about me. She didn't want to see none of that, what she done. Instead, she wanted to disrespect me. But I got the last laugh because this man refuses to take his last name from me. We're not even together. Going on three years. And I can sit in these videos and I can laugh my ass off because I know I learned my lessons. I know where I made the, I made my bad choices. And, and I can sit in the videos and, and say it. But I would never attack another woman over some man. And I can sit here and I'm going to laugh. As long as I am still Mrs. Giddy, I'm going to laugh about it. Because you went so hard. And the only thing you got was lies, penis, and a baby. Self-esteem got to be low. We, we not only lay down with a bit man, with a our self-esteem has got to be so low when we not only lay down with a man who 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 has multiple children, doesn't take care of them, has a let me tell you something. And I tell my daughter this. Do not go have a baby by a man who has a felon felonies on his record. And the reason why I said he may be a good person and you can have a relationship with him, but don't have a baby by him expecting him to be able to help you take care of your children, even if he wants to, because he have all those strikes against him. First, he's a black man in America. They already have it hard. Then if he has felonies on his record, it's definitely hard for him to get a good paying job. And if he don't have no education, it's extra, extra hard. So tell my daughters, don't go, you want to get involved with him, that's your business. But don't bring no baby in this world by him when you know he have all these strikes against him. Because I can't help you take care of a baby when he can't even find a job that's going to pay him enough to even help you from the door. To have a baby by a man just to say, oh, someone wanted me or because or he look good, that's the most dumbest shit a woman can do. You go have a baby by a man that's married. They got two kids he really can afford to take care of. He's struggling to take care of them financially. He has a criminal history. Did a total of 10 years in jail. Doesn't have a high school diploma. How the hell or why would you think this man can come home and land a good paying job without knowing someone that can help him get this? He might can get a job. But it's not going to be making $15, $20 an hour. I doubt that. And to be that dumb just to keep a man in your life, the self-esteem is low. It really is low. It's really, really low. And that that's, that's what you call desperate. So I have no respect for women like that. One thing to cheat with a married man, but I'm going to go have this baby so I can be connected to him. Although he married, still married, connected to him for the next 18 years. And I'm calling it like it is. Why do, we, why do women do that? Especially when it's one thing you careless. Oh, shit. He was drunk, we had sex, we had unprotected sex. You pop up pregnant, and you do have a choice either to abort or not, and it depends on your own belief system. But my thing, my thing is to get involved with a man that is married, no high school diploma, criminal history, at least 10 years in jail, two kids, possibly three. And you don't see nothing wrong. We're going to have this man's baby. And what's sad when your female, fr when your friends and your family members don't even tell you you deserve better. So the whole group is a bunch of female thoughts that don't have no, no self esteem. It's it's sad. But now um, I'm still married. I come to accept that for now because in order for me to get a divorce, I gotta do a new divorce petition. 
There's more money that I got coming back out of my pocket that I'm taking away from my daughter. And if he doesn't get served, because we can't find him, that's money wasted. So, like I said before, I decided to let that shit go, because I'm... Um, like I said, I can't lay down with a man that's not my husband. I can't lay down and have casual sex. Um, I've been there, done that, and that is doesn't make me. That doesn't make me feel good about myself to lay down with a bed, man with a bed, to lay down in a bed with a man, and the only thing we doing is having sex. And then after six months, he tired of sexing me. So it really, it, it really went nowhere. So I just wasted six months of my time. So I'm okay with um that for the meanwhile. Because I'm not interested in dating because um, I'm not desperate. I'm not lonely. And like I said, I love myself too much to open up my legs and give myself to a man who's not worthy of me. I'm not doing that shit ever, ever, ever again. He got to be worthy of me. And he just can't say, oh, I love you, I respect you. No, he have to show in his actions. Can't be living at home with his mother. Can't be living with another woman. He got to have his own. And he got to be on a spiritual level level where he is searching for himself, learning about himself, so he can become a better man. But I laugh because every time I look at that green card and that divorce petition package in my, cl in my closet, <laughs> I bust out laughing because um, my marriage was is fake. <laughs> Or because she don't believe that this man who she gave herself to is lying to her. And has been lying to her from day one. You know, ask yourself, you know, he said all these things about her. He talked about it. He shared her. He didn't. But why he don't want why, why he want to divorce her? Why? I would feel, I personally would feel some type of way to get myself involved with a married man who, who, who did all this. Ran up the mouth about his wife, but when his wife sends the divorce petition so she could be done with him legally, he don't do it. As an other woman, I would, I'd be saying, "Well, why I'm disrespecting that wife? She ain't do nothing to me. Why is I'm disrespecting her kids? They didn't do nothing to me. That's because people can't take the truth. People cannot take the truth." They refuse to face the truth because it makes them face their reality. See, what you got going is not a reality. It's all false. Who want to get with a man who can't even pay a telephone bill, a cell phone bill, your rent? If you got an eviction notice right now, can he come out of the pocket and pay it for you? And we together, we still together is what she told me when she told me she was pregnant about him. We still together. You mean he's still fucking you is what you mean. You're not together. He's fucking you. He paying your rent, your cell phone bill, your cable bill. You don't pay like and gas because you're doing projects. And you got the nerve to talk about another woman because you slept with her damn husband. Ain't that some crap? I tell you. Real talk, this is a, real, this is a true story. But let me get on myself and go on to work. Make my money. <sighs> but I just want to say no. And then I learned that you can, um, because I have wrote a letter to the judge, you know, asking him to grant me to my divorce because hus my husband doesn't want to sign a petition. Then I found out the judge don't even read your letters. The <laughs> the judge don't even read letters. <laughs> I wrote that letter for nothing. He didn't even read. The judge don't even read the letters. So since there's no, have not been no activity on my divorce case for two years almost. It's probably been dismissed. All that you know what I could do with eight hundred dollars right now. Hell, I could take me a goddamn trip to Atlantic City with that and go gamble. 